what up everybody so if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me real quick so today i'm just gonna say my thoughts about the rams and Bengals game of course the super bowl the greatest game in sports in my opinion of course the ratings and all that the amount of people watch it that's why i say it's the greatest game in sports well yeah we can say that <laughs> we can say that okay so what i was about to say right shout out to the los angeles rams Specifically, Matthew Stafford, Aaron Donald, Cooper Cup, they killed it that game. Like, they took over that game, all three of them. Stafford and Cup with the game-winning drive and the game-winning stop. And that third and one and that fourth and one, that was all Aaron Donald. Shout out to them three. But the whole team, they was good the whole season. Oh, yeah, I hope uh, OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., I hope he's doing okay. I hope ain't, like, no ACL or nothing. I hope it's, like, a knee sprain or something. Like, ain't nothing serious like that. But they, they play good. Now... Now, when OBJ went out, like, he started off excellent, OBJ. Like, he caught a touchdown. I think he's, like, on a crossing on a crossing route. He got a he got a big play. But, but when he went out, like, in, the, like, the middle of the game, like, the Rams' offense was kind of stagnant a little bit. Like, it was, like, Cooper Cup wasn't really getting his touches, really. Wasn't really getting his touches. But the fourth quarter, that sp specifically, that game when the drive day was excellent. From Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, yeah, they was good. They was good. Now, the Bengals side, right? The Bengals. Okay, I think everyone knew the Rams' D-line was, was too was too overmatched. Well, no. Bengals' O-line was overmatched by Rams' D-line. You got Donald, Von Miller, Leonard Floyd. Like, like, come on. I think everyone knew. Like, Joe Burrow got sacked seven times. Bengals, Bengals, Bengals. Hear, hear me out. Please give Joe Burrow an O-line. I am, bro, please give Joe Burrow another, not another O-line, but, like, just new players for the O-line. Like, because how man's looking, I don't want him going down to Andrew Luck way. If y'all don't know what happened to Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck was a great young quarterback. But for years, the Colts wouldn't give him an O-line, and he ended up retiring very early for a quarterback. I think I think he only played, like, eight, nine seasons, I think. That's, that's short for an NFL quarterback, it's especially, like, they have talent, and they're great. I just don't want Joe Burrow going down that path. Well, I think this postseason he got sacked, what, 17 times? What, 17, 18 times? I think it's something like that. That's a lot in your second year. That was the main reason why he got hurt. Not hurt. I meant <laughs> hurt his first year. Like, dude, he was getting sacked like crazy. That's why he ended up missing the season. He got hurt because they can't block him for nothing. Bengals, please give Joe Burrow a line. Please. I beg you, please. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow is very talented. He just give him an O line. You can see he got out to the Super Bowl with no O line. Can you imagine with them with the O line? Oh yeah. I I expect him to go back. I don't know when, but I expect him to go back again. Most quarterbacks, well, like most of the greats, usually go once, twice, three times. Most of them usually do like that. So I, I imagine Joe Burrow going again, especially if you keep like the core him, Jamar Chase, T Higgins, Boyd. Especially Joe Mixon. Yeah, Joe Mixon was huge for him, for them. So, yeah, the Bengals throughout that game, right? Like, the, in my opinion, I think the Rams played better than them. But me, I think the defense kept them in the game, though. Because, like, the offense, they was getting big plays, but they really wasn't, like, doing nothing, really. Like, the Jamar Chase one, like, we caught over Jalen Ramsey. That was a big play. It was a no touchdown. But it was a good setup for them to score. But it was a good setup to score, but I think they only kicked a field goal, I think, on that drive, though. But when Joe Milk, I said not Joe Milton, I mean, <laughs> Joe Mixon, when he threw in a touchdown, that was a, that was a good one. You made the linebackers, you made the linebackers and safeties bite because Joe Mixon was killing it during the Super Bowl. I think he was averaging like five, almost five yards a carry. So threw a touchdown, great trick play by the Bengals, good one. Then, oh yeah, then everyone know that should have been pass interference. First play in the third quarter, Joe Burrow threw. That was a dime. That was a perfect pass, though. He threw a dime to T, T. Higgins. But if you see, if y'all saw the replay, T. Higgins, like, just did this to Jalen Ramsey face mask. Like, he just grabbed it and he yanked it. That should have been that should have been a pass interference, like, on T. Higgins. But refs, they're going to miss calls. They're going to do it every game. You can't expect the refs to be perfect. You can't expect the refs to be perfect. It's just not going to go like that. Oh, yeah. So... They had this conversation right today, I think, on the sports shows. They were talking about Cooper Cup. Do y'all think he's the best wide receiver in the game? Me, I would say he top three. 
I'll say he's top three. Like I said, like Devontae, DeAndre Hopkins, and him. I think he's in that conversation. I'll say he's top three. I don't know about best, but he was killing it though. Cooper Cup, that guy. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing bad about him. He that guy. <laughs> he a beast. He a flat out beast. Let's see, triple crown winner. I like if him and Stafford stay together, especially the Rams. Hopefully, like if his contract come up, they give him his money like he deserved. But him and Stafford stay together, oh, yeah. They're going to be killing it for sure. Going to be one of the best duos in the league, no doubt. Yeah, Cooper Cup, that guy. <laughs> he, he he that guy. He the truth. He the truth. But, yeah, like they did. Like the Bengals defense, I admit, they did catch him the game and kept it close, though. But they did they did have Cooper Cup locked down for a little bit. They did have him locked up for a little bit. That But that fourth quarter, it was over. <laughs> it was over after that. They couldn't guard him for nothing. They started doing that man to man after Odell went out. They they had cut for a little bit, but after that fourth quarter, it, wait, in the fourth quarter, it was over. It was it was done for the Bengals after that. Oh yeah, and Aaron Donald. <laughs> oh man, he different. <laughs> nah, the amount of strength he has is ridiculous. It he's definitely one of the greatest. Yeah, he's definitely one of the greatest like defensive players ever. If he ain't after Lawrence Taylor. Like, he third. If you have him third, you're done. No. You got to have him, like, second. It got to be Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald. Then whoever you got third, I don't care. Reggie Wiley, if you don't have Dion there, I really don't care. I really don't care who your guys' defensive players. I just know them are the two. Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald. If you, have, if you say Aaron Donald better than Lawrence Taylor, I won't trip. Aaron Donald been a pro bowler all his years in the league. He been in the league for, like, eight years. Aaron Donald, that guy, he legit. Aaron Donald, for real. Now, you can tell he's probably getting frustrated a little bit, like at the first half. Yeah, probably majority of the first half, he's getting double team, triple team. It's understandable, but he kept playing, though. That was opening up for the other guys. Von Miller played good. Leonard Floyd, he got hurt, but he was doing good before he got hurt. I think it was a growing injury like that. But, yeah, the Rams the truth. Rams the truth. Now, Jalen Ramsey, he did get beat on some plays, though. I expect him to have a better game, but he did get beat on some plays, though. I'm going to excuse him from that T. Higgins one because he T. Higgins did rip his face mask. But he did give him some big plays, especially the Chase. He gave him some big plays to him. Like, if they lost that game, I know he would have looked look at himself in the mirror and have been pissed at himself. Like, I knew he would have been mad, but that's good they won the game, though. They D-line they did, did it for sure. They D-line. Rams D-line been good for a good amount of years, though. Well, I, I forgot when was the last time they made it to a Super Bowl. If it's 2022 now, nah, Man, I would say that's probably four or five years ago. It's something like that. But they D-line been excellent for a minute, the Rams. I expect it to be excellent in the future as well. But shout out to the L.A. Rams. So drop down in the comments y'all thoughts about the L.A. Rams. I thought they killed it. They whole game they was good. Like, I would say, like, if Odell would have played, I think, I would have said they would have blew the Bengals out. I just think it would be, like, instead of, like, a 10 12 point game instead of like a three point game like that. Because Odell, when he started off, it looked like he was he was gonna have a great game. But he got hurt, so it kind of kind of made the left I guess the playing field even. Like I thought it would be a close game though in general. But like I said, 10 to 12. Like I thought if o, if OBJ played the whole game how he started off, for sure, I thought it would be like a good 12, 10, 12 point game, but he got hurt. So that was kind of made the game closer in my opinion. But Bengals de defense did help they end for a good minute, though. That's what kept the game close, though. Because the majority of the time, Joe Mixon was running on them, but the offense really wasn't getting downfield like that. That's That was in my opinion, though. But the Bengals, hopefully they be back, though. But give Joe Burrow O-line. Like, please give him, like I said, Bengals, please give Joe Burrow an O-line. So like I said, drop down in the comments y'all thoughts about the Super Bowl between the Rams and the Bengals. I thought it was a great game. So if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Also, share this video with your friends and family. Follow me on Instagram at J underscore hems underscore sports. I'm going to say it again at J underscore hems underscore sports. All my social medias is in the description. And I hope everyone have a blessed day. We out.